Rat Holes, a soul's best friend in ARK. Amongst all the cheating and dodgy stuff that goes on, you can always depend on your dear friend, the Rat Hole. And also, it's a nice way to survive and thrive without anyone else to protect you. These base spots will. And I'm going to show you the top 5 most overpowered solo base spots, in my opinion. Alrighty, for the first rat hole on this video, we're going to come down to Extinction, the Sunken Forest. The rat hole is by 19 lat and 13 long, and is around here on the map. So, it's right near the entrance, and if you fly up here, you'll see this little crack here. Now, this rat hole is um, very hard to get in and to try to soak. Okay, let me show you. So, this is the entrance. To get in, you need to go on this ledge right here. That's the grapples, or you can use a PT and throw it in there. So you just aim up. Make sure you're crouching. I think that's it. And you have to try to grapple in the rat hole. So you can see we just got in. And it's pretty good. Since you goes up again. And then this is where you'll be building. It is buildable on official. And to defend it, I recommend using some turrets on the wall here. And hit some turrets down. Also get some carbos to block this entrance. And the only reason it's really on this list is because it's on Extinction. Besides that, it's not really the greatest rat hole. It's just that you can have all your tech turrets capped. It is really hard to soak because it's such an up. And um, if they put carbos, they really can't do anything. They need to use soak it with carbos and use snow owls, strap C4, and bow turrets. But it is a really good rat hole. I've lived here. You can build really far up. You have a couple floors beating. If it's staggered and stuff, but yeah. So this is number one on the list, but the lowest ranking rat hole. Alrighty. Anyways, this next rat hole is at. Oh. Okay then. Well, this next rat hole is at. Uh. Right. 50 latitude and 20 longitude on the Genesis 2 map. Now this rattle is pretty good. Go away, my child. Anyway, so yeah, it's going to be a lot easier to get into this one with Fed Suit. But you do need climbing picks. And it's number four on my list. Like, it'll look really good, but I'll show you later why it's only number four. So you fly up to this corner with climbing picks. Well, from the ground, you'll just see the little crack that's by this waterfall. So you just fly up, fly up, and then you get to this, and you just go around, grapple, and then, oh, that's funny. <laughs> okay, anyways, so, get in the threat hole like this, and there you go, you're in. So, as you can see, very small entryway, but as you get back here, expands a lot. Like, this is pretty large rat hole. It's just that it's, like, slanted, so it's going to be really hard. And I'm pretty sure some of the back there is considered mesh. So I won't go there, because you'll probably get anti-meshed. But yeah, so you just have this hallway filled with turrets. But I'm about to show you why the reason it's not higher on the list is that this ceiling right here... It's not that thick, so, and also, if you grapple, you can get to a point right here with climbing picks, and no turrets will shoot in the hole, and you can throw up stegos and carbos, but still be really hard to mount them, and I'm pretty sure it's 1x, so, but the reason it's not higher on their list is that this is not that thin you can use griffins and mechs and you can hit your structures through this floor so yeah it's a pretty good rat hole it's on gen 2 so you're gonna have it's always gonna be capped because i don't know how the hell you're running a valley shards so it's easy alley pretty easy map to live on so yeah you just really easy Yeah, and it's kind of hard to get out of, but yeah. Anyways, on to the next rat hole. Alrighty, the third best rat hole on our list is here on Extinction. Down in the Sunken Forest again, but actually in it. 
and it is at 21 lat and 0 0.8 long. So this one's a lot more defendable than the other one. Very similar though, but as a much smaller entrance, it's harder to get into. So entrance is right there. So you have to come in here. It's really hard to get into this one. So it's entrance right there. So you have to try to grapple up again. So you're gonna crouch. You're gonna grapple here. It's much easier with tech boots. Nothing you see. Basically, you just have to try to get in right here. Right, we did it. It's much easier to do this with tech boots, but this is the entrance to the rat hole. So it goes up. It's much harder to get into this one than the last one. So then from here, you grapple. And then it's very similar to the other one, but this one you don't have as much space. So it's very hard to build on this one in official, but unofficial, it's a really, really good rat hole. I mean, it's good on official, but there's a lot of places you can't build since it's really weird. This counts as mesh. So it's really good rat hole though. You have a lot of space. You can fit gigas in here, which is nice. So if we want to do raising gigas or breeding, you can do that. But yeah, it's pretty good rat hole. It's on extinction, so you can cap all your turrets, all your techs, and then you can get some carbos down here. Make it really annoying for the raiders, because you're not getting a thylid to bleed those turtles if you have good ones. So yep, this is number three on our list. It's really good. I haven't personally lived in here, but yeah, it's good rat hole. Okay, for number two on our list, you're going to want to come to... Towards 52, 16.8. So this rat hole is going to be underwater, so you are going to need vacuum compartments to build it, but it's really strong and defendable offline. So what you want to do, come down here, you'll find this cave. This cave leads to a very cool cave, but there's actually rat holes in this cave, since this is probably the largest cave in the game. Well, if you ignore him. So come down here. You have to be very careful, because, as you can see, Tuso's Mosasaurus, Lidothixes, it's like everything that's large underwater and doesn't like you spawns here. So you're going to come over here to this rib cage. You're going to keep following it. Following it. And you're going to be paying attention to inside the rib cage for black pearls. So there's a certain formation of black pearls down here. Right here. So you've got this formation of black pearls. It means you're at the rat hole. So if we go right up in this triangle. So from down here, you see this triangle? You go up in here. So, this is the rat hole. It's larger than the, any other on this list. It is very defendable. You can only fit Carbo through here. But you can easily cry out on Cryostego. But, yeah, it's really defendable. And I'm about to show you why it is so high on the list. So, it's large as hell. You can fit a massive vacuum base in here. A really small entrance you have a ton of turrets so the main reason it's on this list so highly that if you get a strider and link it to a deadie in there if you come down here these rocks give element shards all of them do so if you just take a strider run around you can easily cap all your tech turrets in there and people do not like soaking they'll try every way they can to cheese bases so, I mean, I'm not promise you it won't get raided, but if you get all your tech turrets in here capped, it's going to be very long and very annoying to raid. People are not going to want to do that. So, right here is a really good Jenny spot. Yeah, so it's a really strong rat hole. I l enjoyed living here. But yeah, so this is number two on the list. It's really... Another good thing, it's really hidden, actually. Um, someone had to, with ESP would have to come into this cave and find you. Like, you cannot locate this rat hole from above the water. Unless they're swimming above you on a Tuso, they're not going to find you. And you feel free to leave your transmitter on in here, because it counts as a cave, and it will, the beam will not shine through the map. So yeah, this rat hole's number two. Alrighty, time for what I think is the most broken rat hole in this game. So you want to come to 57 lat and 18 long. So this rat hole is kind of hidden. It's at the world border. And this is part one. And the lunar. So 
What makes this so good is that it's under the freaking asteroid. If you don't know, if you go below the invisible freaking teleport area there. So if you fall off and go too far below, you'll get teleported. So this is the rat hole. You can't build it on official, unfortunately. But yeah, you can build in all of this. I recommend putting your main base up here because you will take constant damage due to you trying to get teleported. But the game won't actually teleport you. I know it's a stupid system. So, I see no blue effect. Come down here, blue effect. So, make sure you put your cliff flats like up here. So, you can have the most marine as possible and you won't be taking constant damage. And you're also going to need hella aircons for this because it's very cold here. Yeah, not not good. So, what makes this rat hole so strong? That it's it's really large. It's honestly a really large rat hole. So, but the strength of it is that you can put turrets like down here. It's on just this one. There's no flyers. You can't fly in here. Nothing. So you put your turrets here, and this little crack. This is a, like here. I'll show you. So. Right here, about, there's invisible teleport barrier. So if we go down here, you get teleported. So you can't, like, it's really hard to get in. You have to skiff soak this. And people don't like soaking in this game. They'll try every way to cheese it. So, like, if you go down off here, you get teleported. So you can't get under these cliff flats. You can't cheese it. The only way I can maybe think is if you try using Astrodelphus and diving it. But I've easily gotten 100 turret death ball here. And that's going to shred any Astrodelphus that comes near this rat hole. And you can also, back here, just build upwards and upwards. I've had multiple breeding floors here. It's fairly large. Get a couple cliff flats in here. And you have... Do a couple layers. I've had cloning chambers. Yeah, I, I love this rat hole. It's also on one, probably my favorite map in the Lunar. So yeah, you got space whales. But yeah, th this is w probably one of the most broken rat holes. And it's on Gen 1. So if you get a Strider, you go to a Lunar Cave, you link you link it to that. And then you can come up here or go to Big Lunar or whatever. A couple Lunar Caves. So if you take it up here... Over here, quick little spot for Lunar Cave, so you get a Strider in here, hit all of this, all of this will give you element. All these little blue rocks will give you element. Easily cap all your tech turrets. Yeah, this rat hole is really strong. Alrighty, hopefully you enjoyed today's video on rat holes. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. I had a blast reliving some memories and revisiting these rat holes. But I'm kind of busy right now. I got a battle coming up. So I'm going to ride this, my mighty stallion, off into the sunset. But until next time, bye bye.